go and take a look at this one. So if we're going to go and take a look at this one, I can rewrite my f of x as x to the fourth. And I can rewrite my g of x as sine of 2x plus 4x squared. Right? So therefore, f prime is 4x cubed. g prime, though, is again, we have a little bit of issue. Again, we're going to have to go ahead and use the chain rule. So I can say my outside function is sine of x. Inside function is 2x plus 4x squared. So again, just to kind of do the chain roll quickly, you take the derivative of your outside function, plug in your inside function, and then multiply that times the derivative of your inside function. Yes? Right? So in this case, um, I have cosine of 2x plus 4x squared times the derivative of my inside function, which is going to be a 8x plus 2. Um, now, I simply, to find my prime of my function, I'll just take my 4 times my g of x. So take my derivative of my outside function, plug in my inside function. And then multiply that times the inverse, or times the derivative, which is cosine of 2x plus 4x squared. And then times, I'll put that times 8x plus 2. I'll just use a bracket just to make sure. Yes? Uh, yes, that's to the third power. I left that off. Just note that this is cosine of that times x squared plus 2. Okay, That's why I use brackets to make sure I differentiated that. And you could um, also multiply, but obviously that's going to be too on my work. Which problem was this? My sine of x, my 2x, and this one. Yeah, we'll just leave that as that. <coughs> 